east side. Make some noise. Very good. Very good. I want a nice warm welcome for the team, our first team. The team from Gratz High School. Make some noise, everybody. My name is Damir. I walk home with my hands in my pocket, dodging red and blue lights, cause they are a sign of trouble. The sign of a bullet heading straight through my head and not having to see the light today. The sign of a man wearing a black and blue uniform beating me until my body is still. I hear the sirens coming straight through the block that I was walking in. And so I put down my hoodie just so those sirens can't stop me from going home. As they rolled down the block, they saw my melanin skin and my appearance. And so they stopped the car and asked me to stop walking. My heart raised into a billion beats at a minute. Fear filling my soul just like pouring water into a cup. I stopped walking. But my body couldn't remain still. Two police officers came out the car and asked me to put my hands in the air. And so I did as they said. I hope that they don't shoot and pray that they don't beat me. They pat me down trying to check and see was I holding any drugs or concealed weapons. I told them that I am innocent. I need to go home before I pass my mom's curfew. They laughed at me trying to tell me that I can't go anywhere until they can make sure that they can file that police report. I told them that the only report I need to be worrying about was having good grades on my report card. They pushed me on the ground because they saw me as a threat. They beat me with the sticks while my heart was beating rapidly. I was crying in fear, but I chose to get up and run. The police officers chased after me with the guns in the air, screaming, stop running. But my body refused to stop and kept going till I can make it to my mother's house. I ran out the block and I saw my mom's door about six yards away. The cops catched me and pissed it with me, calling me a low life. I pushed them and I reached into my pocket trying to call my mom to let her know that I'm being beaten right down the block. And then, as they saw me digging in my pockets, they start to take the safety off the pistols, and then shots fired. Give it up for Grants! Give it up for Grants! MCS, you're on deck! MCS, you're on deck! Come on up, MCS! Give it up for Girls High, everybody! Give it up for Girls High! My name's Anissa, and this is my first time at Love, you guys mind if I outline my imperious clarification of love? See, you guys mind if I outline my imperious clarification of love? Where the blue flames lift upon Satan's throne, I let Hades brand my divinity with victory. I kiss the bottom of Baal's feet just to have one more kiss, a kiss like no other, a kiss where you felt my lips equaces drops of sweet nectar evaporate into the pores of your mind, leaving your body a rest on a bed of honey, honeycombs near pearl gates you envision were made by the hands of angels. Like, I just want to love, substance deeper than the, a substance deeper than the, Substance deeper than the. Substance. Substance deeper than the noose imprints on the necks of strange fruits that smug upon trees, leaving the bark of roots deepen in shades of auburn and maroon. A substance of hate, a substance of denial a substance of deceit, a substance of ignorance, a substance deeper than the indigo space celestial vacuum of stars that shine brighter than the potential of most hood boys' dreams. Feelings fluctuate fluidly, filling my veins with a substance stronger than the crack epidemic of Harlem 80s, a substance with more strength than the interlocking of tar skin fingers liberating us from the grips of white supremacy, a substance of we, a substance of love. Give it up for Girls High. Give it up for Girls High. Make sure you come on deck when I call you. SLA Bieber, you are on deck over there. SLA Bieber, you're on deck. 
Now give it up for the team from MCS! My name is Angela. My name is Shannon. Juice boxes become Henny. Bike rides to the corner and back turn to long car rides. Paying bills becomes the new. How am I going to get 25 cent for some Swedish fish? The only drug I knew was cough medicine. And I do remember a time I could wear a dress and not worry about my thighs. When I could stay up all night watching Disney Channel and seeing that kid do a sweat in midair. Man, Man you, you just, just knew those movies would be good. good. Boys didn't break my heart because I didn't let them get close enough. Excuse me, sir. I don't have time for cooties. I have a page to color. No papers to write, just color inside those lines. When the only race issue we had was who ran the fastest. Man, those were the good times. Now... Man, those were the good times. My mother used to read me bedtime stories to ease me to sleep at night. You see, she knew just when to close my book so I would close my eyes and drift off to my own galaxy. Now I read my thoughtless thoughts which just don't ease me to sleep anymore. Life has become so easy to hate and hate has become so easy to love. The, the tubes at Chuck E. Cheese become a germaphobe's nightmare. The smell of sweaty feet making the pizza in my stomach disagree with me. Man, I used to be able to binge watch Spongebob all day, but age means responsibility. And responsibility means put down that remote and pick up a broom. The only boys in my life were big time rush, but now I'm stalked by oversized toddlers with talk so cheap that their words fall apart before they even leave their lips. I used to have separation anxiety when my mother would leave for work, but now I constantly face anxiety even when I'm with her. My fingers tremble just as my lips used to when I didn't get my way. Tears streaming down my cheeks just as they used to when I couldn't find my other twinkle toe sneaker. The monsters that used to live under my bed now found a home within me. And no matter how many times I put my head under the covers, they just don't seem to go away. Please, Please take, take me, me back. back. Take, take me back, back to the time when the only pain that I had to face was when I scraped my knee playing tag. When I could trust people because I didn't have any business to tell. So when I didn't feel obligated to finish my food because I wasn't the one who bought it. So when my mother's embrace was guaranteed to feel like a lifetime because time didn't exist. Now I spend my days wishing I could go back to the days when I wanted to be here. Give it up for MCS. Let's welcome SLA Beaver. Um, my name's Anaya. This is my first time. Uh, uh, my name's Devin, and this is also my first time. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> gonna ha gonna try not to have an anxiety attack. Okay. <laughs> See. Uh, okay. <laughs> Little boy. You made it this far. Heartstrings used to be a harpsichord, but those 88 keys, those 88 keys kept getting played with. The symphonies are tragic as your heart kept breaking to those tragic symphonies, relapsing the trauma, PTSD induced. Thinking back to that moment when you were sitting there and they said to you words that caused wars and rage murder and Brenda Scott's Deeper than the skin that's beneath, I love you. These words they held true to, or so you thought that trickster did, when they was just playing tricks with your head, baby boy. You're worth more than that. Your damn personality is not measured by that pipe, but that pipe is a pipeline shortcut to the heart. Or so what society perceives it to be? What do you perceive you to be? You are a chocolate king. You say you know this, but you sit here reminisce about the chair, shattered glass from your broken heart, porcelain fragile to the touch. 
but you make yourself hard so they know you can't be crushed. Your feelings ain't there, confused because you're afraid to be seen. Little, Little girl, girl, you've, you've grown, grown so strong. strong. Your, Your violin, violin was so melodic, but dismal compared, compared to now. now. You can't be unseen. People can't take their eyes off you when you walk down the street, but not in a good way. They look at you as if you're an alien from outer space, as if you're the most disgusting creature in the world. Being told to participate more in gym class when you're afraid to do jumping jets because people might instantly think of Jello. Jello is the way I would describe your personality. personality. Easily pairs to dissipate, but in reality, you're a hollow shell. You're broken. And to think that you can't see that is like a step on broken pieces of my heart. Why do you spend so much time avoiding your mirror? Just because you're afraid that what people said was true? Why, Why do you not trust, trust that I'm there for you? You say you feel as if you're a package that we fragile but was dropped from up high. You have friends that talk about you behind your back, and when you try to tell them that you're hurting, they say it's a lie and not a fact. The fact that your struggle was almost brought to an end when you finally decided you didn't want to be dead. Give it up for SLA, people! Welcome, Colombo, to the stage! My name is Anasia, and this is my first time. <laughs> my name's Zaira. Have you or a loved one ever fallen victim to a dusty SoundCloud rapping? Where my hug at? Why you ain't answer my FaceTime? LeBron is way better than Jordan. When, when you, you gonna, gonna come, come see me type of dude? Did you or this loved one happen to fall into his trap? He somehow got your social Which, which turned into him getting, getting, getting your, your number, number and y'all somehow started talking just to find out he, he was, was talking, talking to someone, someone else. else. You or this loved one may now be able to file a waste of my time lawsuit and receive compensation. You may be eligible if any of these situations apply to you. Exhibit A, direct messaging. It usually starts off on Instagram, where people only post what they want you to see. He'll send you some type of slick message. Hey yo, you know you real bad, right? Or send you your own picture with her eyes, because why comment under a public picture where everybody can see it? He will skip asking your name and go straight to asking for your number. Exhibit, Exhibit B, B FaceTiming. Where he wants to see you unexpectedly. Even though you just told him you had your bonnet on. But yet, instead, he will still hit you with a... Why you ain't answer the first time? Exhibit C, catching feelings. Here he somehow found the loophole into your feelings. Doing sweet things like making a post with Martin and Gina as a background with the caption, she really the one. Never really adding you specifically, but as she know who she is. Exhibit D, sister wives. When you're on Snap, watching most of your friends, and you just so happen to stumble upon some chick you don't even remember adding with the same post your, your man, man had posted for you, you, and she put in captions all over it. My baby really loved me, and he's so sweet. What's, What's understood, understood don't need to be explained, explained. and it's this is why we, we want, want to help you file, file your lawsuit. Not only because he had multiple chicks hitting him up, but because of the fact that he, he had multiple, multiple chicks hitting him up and still chose to bother you. You, you were perfect. Perfectly fine by, by yourself before he slid into your DMs. And with, and with this case, you will finally be able to reclaim your time. Give it up for Palumbo. Give, give it up for the team from Free Airy. My name is Nasira. <laughs> my name is Samaj, and this is my first time performing. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. I Loving you walking was morning together. time smells of burning ashes like filling the my nose. You're happy. Softened. Why your rough kisses, mixed messages of curve of my hips emoji. like an ancient Ask statue, as you if all you stories. ever knew me as was broken and forgotten. I see y'all walking around together. Your smile is shining like the stars. You're happy. Post up three hours later a caption, can't trust any boy with a heartbreak emoji. Ask what's wrong. You tell me the stories. 
Loving you was morning time smells of burning ashes filling my nose, softened by your rough kisses, mixed match into the curve of my hips like an ancient statue, as if all you ever knew me as was broken and forgotten. The heartbreak, the heartbreak that, that you caused. Cause. As I tell you, that if there's anything I could do to make you feel better, I'll do it. You thank me. I've loved you since the second grade when I used to write you love letters, but to you I've only been a friend. Loving you was empty love letters chained to my ankles, dragging me down with your bittersweet words. And whenever I go to pull myself back up again, only to fall back into your embrace. Baby girl, we go out, we laugh, we cry, but you never saw it in me. You curved me for a cheater, and through everything, I've been there with you. Loving you was more than some kisses, knowing that you didn't love me back. By feeling your inconsistent kiss in the way it would land on my lips, like all you ever wanted to do was wash the poison out of your mouth and into my bloodstream. I've taken bullets for you, gave blood for you, but still got curved. What about, what about the nice guys? We're always being left on red and being thrown the curveball, yet always the shoulder you cry on when things go wrong. And you only ever utter the words to tell me that I'm beautiful when your eyes hide behind layers of intoxication blinding your visions. You're such a beautiful girl. You didn't deserve this. Desires. Desires. Running, running ever into the distance, distance. Why, why, do we, get? why do we chase, <gasps> why, why, why do we chase, never in place, running, running from, from those that adore us, from those that adore us. us. <laughs> Love, Love, desire, complex. Give it up for free every everybody. Please give it up. For the team from Pickett. Hi, I'm Harmony. <laughs> it's not my first time. <laughs> I'm Lex. Thank, thank you. Hey, thank you for that. Oh, All I right. got a couple of boyfriends, huh? Oh. <laughs> And God said, let there be the Afro-Latina, tall and looming, the eighth wonder of the world, God's right hand. We walk with fire in our feet and stars in our eyes. We are nothing but godly. You've never experienced happiness until you walk in the poppy store and actually know what they are saying. You'll never understand disappointment of waking up to R&B or reggaeton before you clean. Either way, Wait, we're, we're still, still putting, putting in work. work. We are more than just language and Latin hips. Some of us are fluent. Some of us don't speak it at all. But my, but my tongue, tongue is never the fork in the road of my history. history. I don't speak Spanish nor English. My family calls it Spanglish because we speak with a rhythm that cannot be stopped. But, but why, why would we, we want, want it to? to? It creates taste buds. It, it creates room for my taste buds to be soothed by induveca, salami, mango, and fried chicken. And me abuela stay trying to give me some seven apivix when I'm sick. But, but I, I wouldn't, wouldn't have it any other way. way. Mi cultura is the only thing keeping me be from being whitewashed from the books. Mi lengua is la only thing keeping my tongue on this rolling path. But trust me, I won't bite down. We, we won't bite down. down. We, we will, will never bite, bite the hands that feed us and braid our nappy hairs. hairs. Being as who we are forces us behind the border that white people have been building for ages. But when we're... Take your time. Take your time. You can do what you know. Mm, go ahead. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. People have been trying to erase me for years. Use my people's bodies as wrapping paper for the gift that they call America. Call it, appreci Call it appreciation, visiting my homeland, dipping their toes in the water. But when it comes to people like me, the blackest thing I know is Café, Be uh, Café Bestelo. To them, the only thing Spanish I know are my tears that pour and flood around me until I too become an island. When my abuela's DACA expires, so will my hope on a country that doesn't even want me here. Regardless of whether you're black, Latina, or both, I'm still human. I still bleed red over white stripes with shining stars in my eyes because, because we, we are, are nothing, nothing but, but godly. godly. These people don't know strength. When America still bothers to have parties with our... Ah, okay. When America still bothers to have celebrations using our bodies as the party favors, we still manage to raise our hands and say wepa. When we're asked what we're mixed with, we, we say, say power and resilience, life and death. 
house parties and fiestas. God and Satan, we are the physical embodiment of purgatory. People live through us and always will. I will never let them take my story. Let them take me away again. This is home. Even if it was never my home to begin with, my shoulders I will hold this world up. And, and I am still and always will be here. Give it up for Pickett. Give it up for Pickett. Absolutely. Give it up for Pickett. Let's welcome this last team as if they were our first team. Make some noise for Kensington, everybody. I'm Mayor. I'm Manny, and this is my first time performing. And I'm Fantasia. To skip class and not to skip class, I'd probably do it if I could. Once I touch the doorknob, I'd probably dash, but I don't know if I would. To drop out or not to drop out, that is the question. To drop out is the following the footsteps of the rest of them. They tell me if I go to college, I'll make more money, but going to college is really taking money from me. <laughs> <laughs> I probably leave school, I split like bananas. They consider me a fool, they assume I wear sag pants and bandanas. So I did everything I was supposed to do to get all of my credits. They told me I would have to repeat. I said, nah, forget it. I'll drop out and go to job course and be out half a year. Yet they give us worksheets on worksheets. Why should I care about the cell membrane? Why should I care about freaking at and p This class got me going insane. Saturday school is my only way out of this mental prison. While my family's in that slumber, I'm up early Saturday morning. So I get there on time and try not to fall asleep because it's absolutely boring. Just to keep myself awake, I keep counting days to graduation day. Look, Miss Teacher, I'm sorry, but it's time for me to leave. I may be locked up in this class, but I know where you hide your keys. <laughs> to get money or do illegal things to get paid. But then I think if dropping out is key to ending my high school misery. To get a check every two weeks and make the same money in a day. <laughs> no, I don't sell, but tell me what you need. I think too much. It's starting to hurt my membrane. Should I finish school and make my mama proud of me? Still rob a hustle, thinking of some crazy things? She'd be so disappointed if I got caught with an ounce of loud on me. Having nothing turning into something. Being broke is what made me humble. I don't want to do dumb stuff to be renowned, now. And God gives his hardest challenges to his toughest soldiers. That's how I knew I was special. People say that your man's your homie. Talk bad when you're not around. Life gives you, oh. People say your homies talk bad when you're not around. Cash through everything around me. Life gives you lemons, so I go down the way and put them lemons in my iced tea. <laughs> Give it up for Kensington, everybody. Give it up. Make some noise for this lightning round, everybody. There you go. Much better. Welcome up the team from Palumbo. SLA Bieber, you're on deck. Hi, my name is Brooklyn, and it's my first time. Hi, my name is Cass. My name is Lamia. This is my first time. We are so tired of being judged. Like I chose to be this way. Like I don't have the right to let my inner me shine. Burn as bright as I want, regardless of those who have to squint. So what if I look at picture books with kin scrunched up in mugs? Why do you care if I constantly daydream of my precious Bonnie, rubbing up against me with her soft fur? So what if I wear slides when it's sunny, rainy, cloudy, slushy? Why do you care? What if I like my sock strippy with a little extra sock sauce? You're just mad it doesn't come free with an entree of your hate. Yes, I memorized the scripts from High School Musical 1, 2, 
and three. While I was soaring and flying, you were, you were too, too busy, busy trying to get on my level. And, and that's, that's not all. If I walk past an aisle of candles, they are all getting sniffed. When inspiration strikes, I can't but help to move my dress on the other side of the room and rearrange all the supplies on my desk. No, I'm not sorry if that happens at 6 o'clock in the morning. All four of my bruises from falling in the shower while dancing to New Freezer are none of your concern. <laughs> we will not apologize for our idiosyncrasies. We feel no remorse for not being average. If that seems to annoy you, deal with it. Yeah. Give it up for Palumbo! Kensington, you are on deck! Kensington, you are on deck! Kensington, you are on deck! Welcome up! SLA Bieber! Oh, my name's Selena. My name's Zaina. This is my first time. Unexpectedly. Think of it as Mother Nature on steroids, the instructions on being prepared are like fine print on the pill bottle. As a little girl, my only fear was not jumping high enough. I was scared to slip on the ropes. As I got older, I only think about the thin line between me and depression. My friend always told me that the ground would catch me, but no one ever told me that life would be this hard. Maturing, Maturing is like eggshells. Do you throw them away? Do you recycle them? Do you eat them? What, what do you do, do with eggshells? I used to skip through my problems, never really realizing what was happening. Before my merry-go-round addicted self realized that the world doesn't go around merrily, playing tag with my thoughts, I only chase the happy ones. I created this fabricated place until one day I tripped and opened my eyes to blood. Being called a woman, being called a woman, Being called the woman is the scariest thing of all. I'm not ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe -to -toe with survival. It's not my fault my hearts are wishing well, wishing for time not to be of the essence. I know I'm a woman, but my healing needs time. Thanks a lot, world. For making me trade my hopscotch for hopelessness. Give it up, SLA Bieber! Free Airy, you are on deck! Free Airy, you are on deck! Free Airy, you are on deck! Now the thrill is gone, got no patience, cause I'm not a doctor. Welcome up, the team from Kensington! My name is Leonel, how y'all doing? I want to give a shout out to my coach again. My foot, my foot. All right. Yeah, I got hit so many times that I couldn't remember. Back then, it was hard for me to hold my temper. I was running through the snow, and it wasn't December, so what can you tell me? Um, <laughs> All right. All right. I'm trying to remember, man. I just seen it, too. Um, Y'all stuck with it. Yeah, let me, I'm gonna need this. My fault, y'all. Right. Yeah, I got you right now. Cops still shoot at us when we hold both our hands up. I'm walking down the street and they still grip my mans up. They label us as a number, but they never address that. They come down on us like we animals and they ask why we get back. You acting wild, they ride you up for any time. You act crazy, they wired you up for any time. Oh, my fault. <laughs> ah, it's cool, it's cool, man. I'm just having some fun. <laughs> so, I, you mean, uh, cop playing minds, you out the struggle. They all hating on you when you out the jungle. <laughs> you, you post up too long, they think you hustle. Really, I work for my family, all from the muscle. They ain't, they ain't really see the struggle. These people judge us, but they really live in the bubble. I like to send a message like I'm Paul Revere. Green Lantern Light, I don't got no fear. You live how I live, you gonna have some tears. That's just what it is, and I'm tired of it. 
Give it up for the team from Kensington, everybody. Grats, you're on deck. Grats, you are on deck. Make some noise for Freary. You pay me. Hello? Okay, okay. Hi, my name's Savage. <sighs> this cookie ain't free. <laughs> Let you eat like a king without the proper cutlery. Give. <laughs> Let you eat like a king without the proper cutlery. Eating my ambitions, taking my treasure in silver, like the proper thief in this shallow slumber, this cookie ain't free. Ooh. Crowned you royalty, giving you everything to the finest of tea, even my body of sea fit for your so-called glory. <laughs> now I'm suffering from a debt you have yet to pay. This cookie ain't free. Had high hopes and they did Hitler. I didn't know genocide still ran by my side, watching you lie in my face with the straighter faces. You play peekaboo, hiding your feelings too. You act like I owe you something. Got me on my knees, harvesting your needs, cocking back your pistol harder than your criticism. See, man, this cookie ain't free. <laughs> Only my future king can devour my self-esteem. Only my future king can devour my self-esteem. Got me acknowledging the fact that you aren't for me because queens only need the best you see. That's why it'll never be. Excuse me for, never, for not being free. Never seen... <laughs> Excuse me for not being free. Ever seen, never seen an apology. Now you have become beneath me. Stop trying to play me. This cookie ain't free. <laughs> Niggas too naive to believe that this isn't me. Not seeing that this cookie ain't free. Give it up for Free Ari. MCS! 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 MCS, you're on deck. Make some noise for Grats! Make some noise for Grats! Hello, my, 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 my name is Amir. This is my first time. I know it ain't tripping, can't stand being distant. It's one thing about this girl that she's really different. They say to find different. After all the times I've been hurting, searching, she's the first girl that's thinking about education, job that's thinking about working. They say it's still to find different. She's the type of girl that likes to stay quiet, stays to herself, that likes to stay as long, pays more, atten more attention to the teacher instead of her phone. Her love and affection makes you want to say, I love you, I love you, it's such a blessing. Like right now, I just think I'm a love. She's not from this earth, she was sent from above. Like a drug addict, I'm addicted to you just like a drug. Without you, I'll be incomplete. I feel like we was meant to be. You always told myself just believe in myself that I can make it in the world. Because of you, I believe in my dreams. Believe in my dreams, you set me free. Last night, you was an angel with wings. I mean, I'm glad I got you because you're my destiny. So let's live in glory, grow old together, tell children, tell them our story. I hope the things I do make you proud. Like every time I sing a song to you, you smile. <laughs> My friends asking me like, bro, you weird. Why you not hitting and quitting it? I'm like, no, I'm in it just to be with it. I'm letting them know I'm hitting it just to be with it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope what she feels, what I feel, I'm so desperate, I just want something that's real. This girl, I would travel all across the world, I would go to war for it. It's kind of crazy how you people disrespect the you'll call a girl a slut and a whore. That's not me. I'm a different type of guy. I respect the girl. Like, this girl, she's special. I say, like, special. Give it up. Give it up for Gretz. Give it up for the team from Gretz. 
Pick it, you're on deck. Pick it, you are on deck. Pick it, you are on deck. MCS, let's welcome up the team from MCS. Uh, my name's Kelly, this is my first time. Hey. My name's Lataj Carter. Shaped by teachings of infernos, observations of bright blazes. Birth from oxidation, grace by combustion, with wielding with fiery expertise. Years studying will to precisely engulf, manipulate we flickering flames, flames with finesse. Only, only enough flame, flame to burn, burn candlesticks, candlesticks, not spark campfires. Dedication to devastate further by fellow flames. Enlightenment serving as force to consume all that stands between we mediocrity and greatness. greatness. Prophecies of great infernos, wanting to become a new tale of legend. Attempts to master harshness. Become only reductions to a small flame. Confidence not enough to become heat. Only an imitation. Found dying near a marvelous sight of undisputed destruction. Observed saw you affected by lava, becoming aware of flaws. Began to rise from the ashes. Finally harnessing fury, devastating and giving fatality. Manifesting warmth. Understanding that fire is destruction. But creates life. Yet to be the core of anything. But progressing, knowing that, that the, the language, language of taking is the language of giving. I done came up, well done, MCS. Done Good job, bad. MCS. Give him a bow. Girls high, you're on deck. Girls high, you're on deck. Girls high, you're on deck. Walk him up the team for picket. My name is Maya. My name is Amaya. How, How to write, write a, a poem. poem. Step one, decide that you want to write something. Tell everyone you've got this great piece in the works like they haven't heard that one before. And when they ask what it's about, tell them you haven't decided yet. Tell them there's about 45 different ideas and you can't decide which one is the one. Step, Step two, two, think about what you want to write, but, but don't, don't think, think too much. much. Instead, think of how you look perform a set piece. The tone of each word, even the outfit you wear on stage. Never think about the actual performance. I'm lying. Think about it every day. Think about it in Spanish class when you're conjugating to Nair. Think about it every night and on the weekend until the thought of it literally irks you to the core. Step three, write. Just write for five minutes straight. Don't lift the pen from the page. Scratch that. Fool around a bit. Get distracted. You know, text Tisha and Tanya. Play around in the new Snapchat filter. Forget to take the meat out the freezer before your mom gets home. Step four. Stop, Stop writing. Read what, what you wrote. wrote. Hate, Hate it, it, trash it. Back to square one. Only this time, leave all your passion on the page. As if you'll never write again. Like Hamilton said, write like you're running out of time. Step five, clean, clean up, up your writing. writing. Make sure your words actually make sense. Ha! Uh, hit up Google for words that make even the jocks look smart, like superfluous and <laughs> sesquipedalian. Step six, practice. practice. But wait. wait. That's, That's a poem, poem for, for another, another day. day. <laughs> Give it up for Pickett. <laughs> Give it up for Pickett. And let's welcome up the last team of the second round. The team from Girls High. Hi, my name is Asia. Uh, and my name is Shania. Stolen, captured, shot. An object of your eyes, what happened here? 
Another victim of your artistic focus. You see me through, through rose colored lenses. lenses. Don't you like my picture? I hope you like my picture. I wish you get that picture. You chose it. See if I knew you like you knew that body. Nikon D750, 24.3 megapixel FX format. The same one you used to shoot me walking out into that doormat. Stalked and stayed, shot and stolen. Bushes, Bushes branches, branches broken, broken, doors left wide open. As you shot me before I got a chance to close it. You, you pick, pick which one? one? Shell Child casings, casings film, film canisters. canisters. Makes, Makes no, no difference. difference. You still hide the evidence to remind you of that moment of me. But cover-ups always have a reveal to show that I was a deer in your headlights. You, you shot, shot me through, through red, red rose-colored rose lenses. <laughs> And that I must use as a backdrop, whether it's red clothing or flamed emotion, you still find a way to have it flowing out of me. A victim, shot, shot captured, captured, stolen, and yet no words were spoken. You've done this before. Erase the existence of a photo, replace it with nothing. Like murder stops existing when the body is gone. But, my, but the evidence will still be in your fingers when the fluids have cleared of me. And, and that, that stench of bleach paints the picture of me. me. The, the truth. Put <sighs> up for girls high. Give it up for girls, hi. All right, we have these four teams. Clap it up for the final round. And congratulate to making the fourth round the team from MCS! Uh, my name is Shabazz. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Reggie. <laughs> Greetings. I'm your president, Donald J. Trump. And I'm the translator, the greatest job of all time. <laughs> Good evening, America. Everything is Obama's fault, and I'm gonna make America great again. Believe me. So, before I even start, I'm gonna blame the black guy before even addressing the problems to give the all reach a, uh, a, a look around. So, uh, MAGA. I'd just like to preface my speech by talking about my foreign policy in two words. America first. So, the thing is, right, to get, e to get like, the, to the easiest way to get followers, well, the gullible followers, is to basically put America in front of anything you say. So, like this. America first, dumb idiots. And here's another one for you guys. I know more about ISIS than the generals do. Believe me. Um... <laughs> I really hope that you're stupid enough to believe me when I say believe me because I have no credibility. But as Naruto says, believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Tuh. 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 And let me talk about Mexico, all right? We need to get the illegals out. They're the bad dudes. We need to get the bad dudes out and we need a wall. It's gonna be huge. Believe me, huge. I've never even had authentic Mexican food before. <laughs> but, man, I had a, I had a taco bowl at, at Trump Tower. That joint was all right, though. Barry wiretapped me, and I never talked to Russia. Anyone who tells you otherwise is fake news. Uh. Baseless accusation number 947. Uh, basically, anyone besides Fox News and Breitbart.com is basically an assuredly spoon of false information. So um, don't believe them. Uh, no, uh, no, I didn't forget my lines. OK, this is part of the program. Um, does Melania want to help me with a couple lines? Oh, wait, Melania's not here. Okay. All right. Do you want me to translate for you or not, man? Come on. Hey, hey, leave me alone. Okay. Thanks. I 
believe. Actually, no, I don't believe that. No. I just talked to the president of the Virgin Islands when I went to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Wait, the yeah, the um the president of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands are. Who um who, who is that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you said it. I don't know who it is. Anyways, we'll be gone. You know, I think teachers should have guns. I mean, how else are we going to protect our children, you know? Come into our schools and you're going to be dead, you know? I really do. I do believe that I would have run into that Florida school even if I didn't have a weapon. Believe me. <laughs> Basically, I got balls of steel. And let's talk about the Bible, okay? I'd like to quote two Corinthians. <laughs> two Corinthians, right? 317, where the spirit of the Lord is, right? Where the spirit is, there is liberty. <laughs> I think this is the one you guys like. <laughs> We're going to protect Christianity. Mega. Aha! <laughs> now I'm quoting Bible verses that I don't even know if they're right. Aha! Gotcha. <laughs> Again. And I'd just like to talk about how if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dead. Is that a black man kneeling in the crowd? Get that SOB out of here! You see, I just blatantly advocated for incest and suppression for freedom of speech. I mean, remember guys, you all voted for me. And I'd just like to close out my speech by saying that if Rocket Man decides to attack the US, we will retaliate with fire and fury, fire and fury. And remember, America, when she starts to run away, grab her by the... Hey, hey, America. Hey, man. Enough of that, okay? Enough of that. So listen, America, don't worry about North Korea. They got 50s technology. We all right, all right? So uh, we love you. Good night. Yeah, going eight late, nigo. Move out the way. Please don't be a hero. Give it up for MCS. Give it up for MCS. Welcome up the second team in the third round, the team from Pickett. I'm outspoken. My name is Frequency, and this is my first time. Ascending angels abused by society's acrimony. Accused of abysmal acts with no apathy to our livelihood. Broken bodies, we embody, buried in bulky blankets, trying to break away from bruises that have left us crushed. Curling, kinky crowns opposed to conditioning, can too curls. Carelessly installing weeds where conditioner and coconut oil belong. Destroying decades worth of deli decisions, decapitating our ancestors' souls and trading them in for deficits. In the European eruption, Excluding us from our known exercise rights, we are forced to keep our extraordinary exotic, extraordinary exotic, extraordinary electric exotic history in chains. Tired of being sorry, equality is elusive. It's exhausting exile, and your controlling us is ended. Finding exits your eccentric education, forgetting to focus on us. Slavery be frivolous. Fame of founding fathers, building a foundation already claimed is important. Golden goddess is gone from genocide because America be so great. Hitting our hearts to hell while we hang from a flagpole. Fill our bodies with bullets and call it holy water. Ignorant imbeciles isolating the only creation keeping you from going insane. You wish to feel powerful like us. Majesties making masterpieces with materials many may manufacture. Make note that the malnourished minorities will always stay hungry for freedom. Never, Never forget, forget that your skin is naive, naive to the nourishment of natural melanin. Perplexed at the perception of the present, puzzled at the paraphrasing of the past. We are blackberry smelling the sweet magnolia. Crowns placed quintessentially upon our heads. Queens made from the purest ingredients. Saddened by the ways of this wicked world. Tired of being in the juxtaposition of beauty or brutalized. Our past does not give you justification for you to be unjust. We look to Lucy for answers to the past. When they can be found within the x-rays of those lost. 
Their bones hold the same truths. Secluded in a zone of lies you wouldn't find if you look over yonder. So we continue to cry over their graves. Whoa, give it up for Pickett. Give it up for Pickett. Whoa. And keep the energy going for the team from SLA Um, My name is Beyonce. Stop. Um. <laughs> I'm Gary, and this is my first time. <laughs> my name is Deja. Okay. Why, Why isn't, isn't our, our love, love real. real? She was the fully loaded gun he used to take his life. She held his life in her hands. She was the needle and thread he used to sew his wounds together. She was his lifeline when his life was on the line. I've given you all I've got. <laughs> My IV bags drained the fluid. We don't run as smooth as we used to. Guess we're not fluent. You were my knight in shining armor, thought I found the Excalibur. Instead, I ended up with the fool that continuously made me drool. Your love for me felt fake, living in this fabricated life. I got my demons. You should have known I wasn't a holy sword. I she wasn't, wasn't ready, ready for this, this emotional, emotional warfare. warfare. She wanted to use him, but she had another thing coming. You were my bad blood. Kept my life on the edge. You had me thinking my, the world wasn't round. Dangerously in love with you. Had me sticking pins in my eyes because I was trying to be the spinning image of you. Not bad, like black blood. We're both running through the walls of madness. We both bust through our walls. Bad, bad is breaking, breaking in the, the doors, doors, lurking around, around every corner, corner even, even hitting, hitting in those, those curves. curves. I want us to work, so I use my body to shield us from it. He was too strong for me to fight. This fabricated life I'm living with you was a losing one. Love, Love was, was our, our drug. drug. We, we were so addicted, addicted to each other, other. It, it was, was impossible, impossible to let go. go. Give it up for SLA Beaver. Oh, snap. Give it up for SLA Beaver. And the final team of the Slam. Make some noise for the team from Palumbo. Hi, my name is Charles. My name is Ibrahim. God, God bless the detective, detective shows. Oh man, that's my show. Just look, my reminder tells me in one minute, Criminal Minds is about to speak that fire right now. Every time I hear that dun dun, when Law and Order comes on, I grab my microscope and spectacles and get to work. Oh praise that sweet voice of Penelope Garcia. Sits behind the desk and never gets into the action. Go straight to Google, looks it up, and lets you know. Praise that one character that acts extra shady throughout the whole episode, but ends up not being the serial murderer. And praise that one convenient piece of evidence that shows up when all hope seems lost. Ever, Ever since, since we started, started watching these shows, shows our, our lives, lives have changed, changed forever. forever. Flashback, three years and 52, 52 days ago, 11.42 a.m. At the crime scene, Dutch 14 in Miss Lucy's, Lucy's classroom, classroom, grand theft has been committed. I could smell the fingerprints. Ooh, I knew it was Johnny. It wasn't me, Bob. The results don't lie, Johnny. You just sniffed your desk and accused me of stealing your pencil, Bob. My senses wouldn't lie, Johnny. When they tingle, they tingle. Why me, Bob? What did the tingle tell you, Bob? You stole my pencil. No, Bobby. We're talking 10 to 12 minutes in a timeout square, Johnny. I'm sorry, Bobby, here. <sighs> you see, open and shut case. They always crack under pressure. But, but not, not the, the ones who watch the detective, detective shows. shows. 
Back when I was a junior detective, I was familiar with the basics. That's how I got away with my first theft in five easy steps. Step, step number, number one, wait, wait until, until the right, right moment, moment to strike. strike. 1.36 in the morning. While my parents were asleep, I lurked in the shadows. Step, step number two, strike. strike. <laughs> Kitchen cabinet, top shelf, family size candy bag. There awaited my prize. Within seconds, that family size candy bag turned into a me size candy bag. You see, most thieves will think that the job is done and run. Nah, nah bruh. Step, step number, number three, three wipe, wipe them fingerprints. fingerprints. I got myself a little wet wipe and removed all the evidence from the crime scene. Step number four, frame, frame that, that one sibling that always uses your, your toothbrush. toothbrush. Step, step number five, five, run. Boy, I ran and ran and ran, <laughs> ate the candy in my closet, disposed of the candy bag, and went to sleep. And I slept good, I'll tell you that. I can still taste those three musketeers and peanut M&Ms as we speak. Flash, Flash forward, forward, and we, we still, still use these shows in our, our everyday lives. lives. We used to look up to the detectives when we were younger. But we never realized we would be them now. We became the crime solvers, the puzzle pieces, the ones who use their minds as weapons and their knowledge as shields. The ones who gather evidence like a web gathers flies. The ones that investigate more closely and realize the bigger picture before it's even painted. So to all the detectives out there, keep on detecting. Give it up for Palumbo! Give it up for Palumbo! Can I get a drum roll, please? Can I get a drum roll, please? East Side, you really showed up. That's one of the best slams we've had. And welcome for their first win of the year, the team from Pickett. Yeah. 